Hi, I'm Alan. And I'm Vic. And we're Pekka 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 TV. TV. Let's talk about Sakura. It's finally spring here in Japan, and I'm very excited to be able to show you the Sakura. Sakura isn't just the flowers that Japan is so famous for, but it's actually incorporated into all kinds of food during this time of year to celebrate the season. Families, friends, and companies get together to celebrate an event called Hanami. Hanami literally means flower viewing, and it's sort of a group picnic where we can all get together, enjoy some drinks and some sakura food. So first up, we got the sakura mochi. It's sticky mochi wrapped in a sakura leaf. The leaf is pickled, so it's a little salty, but it's edible. Inside is um, anko, but you know, there are times and seasons. If I had to describe the taste of sakura, it's a little bit like rose water. So I imagine that incorporated into all kinds of different food for this special time of year. So I have this white version of it with an edible flower on top. I surely hope so. Okay. So let's have a go. Yep. Mm, okay. The flower was pickled. But this, on the other hand, is sweet. There's some sweet, sweet anko inside. The next up, we have the Sakura Daifuku. It's a little dusty, but it looks tasty. So let's have a go. Mm. Mm. Inside, Sakura filling. This has an aftertaste of marzipan to it. It isn't, but that's what it tastes like. Next, we've got the Sakura Doriaki. So doriaki is two pancakes with a filling on the side. Usually in the inside it has something like custard or anko, but this one I think has sakura filling. So let's give this a shot. Ikadanimas. Mmm! So the flavor in this one is a lot stronger than the daifuku that we just had. The pancakes are really soft. It's a lot more familiar and friendly. I would really recommend this one. It's delicious. So next up we have sakura cookies. Like everything in Japan, <laughs> it's individually packaged. It looks like this. It's a Sakura white chocolate chip cookie. Let's have a go. So it looks like the top layer has a um, Sakura in it, giving it a very particular sweet taste. So next look what we found, Sakura cheese. I saw this in the supermarket and I thought this was hilarious. So there is a, um, I think it's free and it has sakura filling on the inside. So let's give this a go. Yukitakimasu. The taste of sakura is not particularly strong. It really just does taste like cheese infused with sakura. But I think it's sweet that they were able to make a pink flavored snack for this time of season. Hi, so here we are nighttime sakura viewing this is sakura mochi mm. so it's sakura crepe wrapped with sakura leaf which has been pickled and sweetened ankle really nice contrasting flavor yeah it really works this combination of this pickled and sweet don't be off put you can't eat the leaf good stuff We're at the next place, and what I got in front of me is Tully's, Japan's favorite coffee stores, seasonal sakura matcha latte. This is matcha milk as a drink, but with sakura flavoring. As you can see from the outside, I think it's got sakura white chocolate on the outside. So let's just give this a shot and see what it's like. Ikatakimasu. Mm. Okay, so on top of the matcha latte, it's got a lot of whipped cream followed by the sakura syrup, which is sort of a little bit like strawberry syrup, and then the white chocolate sakura flavoring on top. I think it's definitely more decorative. It does have that lovely spring color palette to it as well, that really brings out that fresh seasonal vibe. I think it's pretty safe, to be honest. I really like it. But yeah, this is just one of many options, so let's move on to the next place to check out more sakura goodies. Next up, we have the Inari Sushi sakura version. This is a seasonal variant of the Inari Sushi. This is deep fried tofu, has some uh, nice pink rice in there, if you can see. Has another edible flower, <laughs> I certainly hope so. Let's give it a go. Ikatakimasu. 
Well, as it is, it's a nari sushi with a sakura hint. It's a very mild flavor. I mean, it makes it slightly, slightly sour, but um, yeah, it looks nice. So next we got the shoe cream. Shoe cream in Japan is the French shoe pastry. It's like a giant profiterole filled with different kinds of cream, and this one so happens to have sakura. So I've cut it in half here to show you what it is. Oh, so you can see here it's got the pink flavoring from the sakura. That's looking pretty sweet. So um, yeah, let's just get in this and give it a shot. Ikitakimasu. Hmm, that's really surprising. So profiterole outside with this sweet cream inside. The sakura flavoring is definitely present, sort of like a rose water mixed with a sour plum sort of situation going on, but I really like it. It's really unique. So sakura in Japan really is a fleeting moment. I know that sakura is so famous within Japan, and I found this episode particularly interesting to show that it's not just about the flowers and about viewing them by day or by night, but also to enjoy the wide variety of food over this short period of time and try the many different flavors that they offer within Japan. It really is like pink snow, seeing it drift in the air in the spring in daytime it's just like this is this is lovely so this episode we had kansai sakura mochi sakura daifuku sakura doriyaki sakura cookies sakura cheese kanto sakura mochi sakura latte sakura inarizushi and sakura shukri thank you for watching this episode of Pekka 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 TV. tv for more information about sakura please make sure to click the link below they'll take you to the tumblr page where you can find out all about it so please check us out on our Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter and Instagram to keep up to date with our Sakura sightseeing. Thank you, until next time! <laughs> Bye! Oh man. <laughs> this is so nice. What the hell?